Should we help her? Yeah, she's doing pretty good on her own. <laughs> That's a scene from the new movie, Mirror, Mirror. It's a twist on the fairy tale of Snow White. So is it funny, thrilling, or a rotten apple? But you can find out. Lucky for us, Mr. Movie Phone, Russ Leatherman, you've seen it. It's got Julia Roberts in it, right? What'd you think? Yeah, it's got Julia Roberts in it. That uh, that's for sure. And I like what you did there with the bad apple. It may it may be a little <laughs> rotten. You know what? This is a this is a sort of a comedic spin on the classic fairy tale Snow White. You've got a pretty good cast, including Julia Roberts. Uh, and really, the story follows Snow White uh, because the queen banishes her into the forest, uh, as you know. Uh, but then Snow White discovers the Queen's plan to trick the very hunky prince into marriage. So the princess decides to fight back to take her kingdom. You've got Julia Roberts, Lily Collins, Army Hammer, uh, Nathan Lane. Here's what I will say is that I didn't think the comedy worked particularly well. So it's not a great movie for adults. I thought maybe it was a little dark, a little too creepy for kids. So I don't know that it works for kids particularly well. They're sort of marketing it as a family film. I just thought that it, it wasn't a particularly good movie. It's, it's one of those movies where you think, oh, Julia Roberts, maybe she's awesome again. Uh, not so much. She, you know, she does a decent job, but she's still cackling. I really need her to stop that. At this oh, point. I like her cackle, uh, if that's what you call it. <laughs> do, do, do you? Um, well, then you should go see this movie. <laughs> All right. It's your, 15, it's your 15 bucks. You do what you want. But I'm, I'm out for Mirror Mirror. What about Wrath of the Titans? Is this a remake? What is this one about? Yeah, this was uh, this is uh, sort of a follow-up to Clash of the Titans, which was an absolutely huge hit. Uh, Greek mythology movie uh, starring Sam Worthington. I'd like to tell you more about what's going on with the plot, but frankly, I had a very hard time with it. Um, y do you know that dust storm that blows into Arizona every yes. year? The, is it yeah, moves watching or this movie. What are they called? Well, watching this movie was kind of <laughs> like that for me. Okay. You know, watching the, it really was like watching a 90-minute dust storm. Uh, it's got some very cool effects, but for the most part, I thought the story was really convoluted. Like I said, the dialogue is pretty awful. So unfortunately, we're out for Wrath of the Titans. So worse than a moob, but like a haboob. <laughs> okay, thank you. Right. What about, okay, Bully, on a very serious topic. Uh, is that one that you would recommend for kids? Because there's been some controversy on, you know, younger children being able to see it, but they can go if they take their, their parent with them. Them. Yeah, and at AMC theaters, if they take a permission slip, they can actually get in. Like you said, it, it's a, there's a big controversy about the rating. It's actually going into theaters with no rating at all, uh, unrated, uh, because it got an R and the studio just didn't want to accept that. I will tell you this, this is one of the most important movies that you will see if you're a parent and you have kids. Uh, it is it is heartbreaking. It, it's it's very well done. I think it really hits the point home. And we do need to figure out how to get this movie into more theaters and get more people to watch it because uh, it, it's critically important and and well done. And and I think everybody should see it. Yeah. And from someone who was bullied, I'm looking forward to seeing it myself. Me Mr. too. Movie Me too. You too. Sorry. I know, right? Okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, have a good weekend and thank you for your reviews on that. Appreciate